What is up YouTube and welcome to this Deathstroke Teen Titans video. I know that this video is just a tad late, but I have had a lot of other things such as Wonder Woman to cover on this channel. However, I am here and we are here for Deathstroke's new team. So if like me you have been enjoying Teen Titans or Titans, whatever you want to call the actual name, but the Lazarus contract, which was a crossover between Titans, Teen Titans, and Deathstroke, which was an absolute superb crossover. It may have felt a bit fast, a bit rushed, but in my opinion, they handled it really, really well. And I think it was a better crossover than the Flash and Batman's crossover, which was the Button. But that's not to take away from that, it's just how much I think that the Lazarus contract really did deliver across bringing the dynamics together of all of the different Teen Titans and also Deathstroke himself. However, it was a really, really cool crossover in my opinion, and it's given us quite a lot of different things. So, first of all, we had Deathstroke become a speedster, which was absolutely insane when you think about it. And in the final part, the Teen Titans annual, we got to see this in full flesh. We see Deathstroke enter the Speed Force and see things that he says that men should never actually see. And no one should ever see this, which God knows what he's actually seen. And I would love to know what he saw inside that Speed Force. But curiously, he hasn't got his Speed Force powers anymore unfortunately i think him being a speedster would have been really really interesting as it moved on but then again this was a gimmick so having this gimmick run on just for a bit too long would be a bit too much in my opinion but it was a cool little gimmick all the same but the biggest thing apart from deathstroke become a speedster of all things funny enough that's not the biggest thing the biggest thing to come out of this crossover was actually the fact that Deathstroke is Deathstroke no more. So he does a Spider-Man and throws his mask on the ground and decided that, well, he's not going to be that guy anymore because he failed in trying to get his son back. Try and He was trying to save Grant's life, but that endeavor succeeded. He didn't succeed, and unfortunately, he is going to be very disappointed. However, he's actually got a brand new team. So out of the pages of this, Wally West, our new 52 DC Rebirth Wally West, is actually no longer a part of the Teen Titans. He was thrown out by the dickhead Damian Wayne, which I quite like Damian Wayne. I think he's cool. He has some kind of appeal in my opinion. I think his brattish nature is pretty, it's well balanced between humorous and just being a dick. But Wally West pretty much caused the problems here. He probably, I would say he came close to playing the role of Terror, who was the turncoat as well. And I thought he did a great job. I thought the characterization of him throughout this was really, really good. So another thing as well, we've got Wally West, who can, oh well, our pre New 52 Wally West is no longer be able to be a speedster. So I think that is their way of writing this Wally West out of being the Flash and kind of an excuse for having two Wally Wests and making this new, this DC Rebirth powered version of Wally West the lead version of that mantle. So we have the previews for Deathstroke number 21, which is insane. So we have got, wow, we've got Deathstroke having his own team. This team is called Team Defiance, which is mental to think about. So we've got Kid Flash and Power Girl with Deathstroke's children, Rose and Jericho, and of course, Terra joining the team. Terra being the person who he inserted into the Teen Titans, originally in the Judas contract. Now, weirdly, we didn't really see much of Terra and we didn't see much of Power Girl at all throughout this crossover, which is really, really weird that we didn't see these ones in this crossover. 
you would think, or one would think, that we would actually get this kind of reveal throughout. However, weirdly, DC have had their solicitations and their previews, and a lot of it has actually been cut out. Most notably, the Supergirl, Batgirl storyline, where they were going into Arkham to get Saturn Girl, which was actually curiously removed, and we haven't seen a lot on that. That was supposed to be the kind of the catalyst for more exploration into the DC Rebirth Watchmen crossover, but I would expect that they have stopped doing that. However, we have got this new team. So what does this team actually mean? So we've got Deathstroke, who has seemingly turned his life of being Deathstroke away. The DC Rebirth Deathstroke was a fantastic storyline, and it had him being a classic dude, classic Deathstroke. However, it looks like he is off to be a good guy, weirdly, or is this all a ploy? Now, I'm not too sure why Wally West has really joined him, but it looks like he wants a proper father figure going out of the dialogue that he actually had with Deathstroke's friend in the closing pages of the Deathstroke or the Teen Titans annual. So, not too sure what is happening there, but I would take the fact that Deathstroke is a good guy with a huge pinch of salt to be honest. So not sure what is happening here, but Wally West is joining Team Defiance. I will be interested to see what Barry Allen thinks of this whole thing, and I'm a bit worried that Wally West is heading down a terrible path, in my opinion, because, well, it is all based on Daniel West being the reverse Flash, or being a, not the reverse Flash, but a reverse Flash, and his kind of trauma has all come out of that. So, not sure what is happening here, but he has donned the weird Future Foundation-esque outfits. So, I'm excited to see what happens in this. That is on sale on July the 5th, Deathstroke 21, and we do not have Wally West in the Teen Titans anymore. So, let me know what you think in the comments. Please drop a like, please subscribe, and I'll see you soon, and goodbye.